Hello people, this is Shri Harsha and welcome to my channel. I make videos on education, career, lifestyle and most importantly on learning. My long term vision is to expand the curiosity and consciousness in education between the age groups of 16 to 25 so that we all can become the change makers of the country. So without wasting any second, let's move into the video. Today is Sunday, I was so so excited to make this content because this is my favorite content ever. I can spend hours, days, months even on this topic. I mean, you give me any material, I'm, I'm ready to read it. I'm ready to understand it. I'm ready to digest it. At least I'll try because this is something that is so, so fascinated to me right from my childhood or right from the event when I started to read books. You must have already seen the title. What are dreams and how are they cost? I mean, this is so fascinating, right? How, what are dreams? This is something that happens internally every time and uh, we don't even bother that such things because that is not a part of our profit gaining ratios, right? Why am I saying this? Because we people are so concerned about the financial aspect, which is very important, right? Which is very important. I don't, I don't say, I don't deny it, but we in this competitive world are always hurried fighting and struggle for existence is always common and we are not finding time to talk, to understand, to reflect on our internal issues or our internal self. We are always concerned about the external beings, external selves, external society. There is an internal society working for you. There is an internal universe working for you, working along with you. There is an internal semi-universe or the mini-universe which you call you are the owner of your own universe and you are not even bothered about it. That's the only concern I always have. Whenever I talk these topics, whenever I understand, I reflect with topics with my father or with my, with my friends or with, with the books I read, I always understand one thing or I always relate to one thing. This human body is not exactly working as the way it should. You are not able to utilize it properly. The vehicle, the body which we have is so, so advanced and we restrict things by the advancement of technology. That is one such thing. And the second thing is the human mind is so, so advanced. And what we call advancement is the level of IQ, which is very much important, which is very much right. But the thing is, Level of advancement depends upon the understanding and the reasonability, not the analysis always. We try to analyze every point further and further deep down level and we, when we forget the main point of the system, we live in the parts of the analysis and we forget the main thing, that is the synthesis of the system. So the topic today is the dream. Whenever, whenever I talk about this topic, I get into a different trance because Dreams are so natural and some people claim to me or some people even claim to you also if you have such experiences. They say that, do you get dreams? That's the question and they answer, I never get dreams. I don't have such time. What seriously bro? I mean, you cannot escape from dreaming that which is a fact, which is a fact. Although people who sleep for two hours or three hours or even four hours, they would also dream. The thing is, no one dreams for the whole sleeping period. I mean, if you sleep for eight hours, you don't dream for eight hours. If you sleep for five hours, you don't dream for five hours straight. No, that's not the case. The dreams only start during the REM cycle or the rapid eye movement where your body posture starts to get muzzled up like it's it, it's going to be in a stiff paralyzed position and you are in a different state then only you get a dream this is actually proved by science and one of the main reasons i have chosen this topic is people should know people should understand their internal nature or internal structure of what is actually happening we are rather focused on external things we should be focused, but the internal shouldn't be ignored. That is my sole point of making this series of videos about dreams now. So, what are dreams now? Dreams are like 
are imaginary or imagery i would say pictures or sequences or events that come that visit our mind or we visit it in during our sleep and experience a different world altogether and the fascinating fact about dream is that after you wake up you realize that it's a dream when you're in a dream you experience the same world the same thing the same people and you almost feel like it's a waking thing when you wake up you realize that oh my god it's a dream it's just a dream it nothing happened it's just a dream you might fall from a big mountain and you feel like you really died but when you wake up from your sleep you realize that oh my god it's a dream thankful to god it's a dream so this is the case we people are so concerned about things that are happening in the waking state things that are happening in the society that is external to us but rather ignoring the internal thing internal nature internal society that is inside us dreams are some of the most symbolic things that are used to pictureize a person's state of mind well psychologically speaking sigmund freud the author of interpretation of dreams he has done a beautiful work towards the western society where he has said that dreams are the unconscious or the projections that happen in the mind and the reflections of the mind that happen so leaving aside his work there is lot more to credit over the indian culture and the indian tradition of vedas and upanishads the indian scriptures have given enormous information enormous texts and proofs regarding the existence regarding the happening regarding the formation about dreams and its sleep cycles everything extensive information is available and during the course of my videos i would be talking about one such topic where it's going to be marvelous so that is all such things dreams are so natural dreams are happening every night dreams are happen only during the rem cycle this is what we learned as of now now let's come to the most important thing how are they caused i mean these things have different perceptions because science even didn't declare any single point about this thing i mean they they also started to give perceptions but giving perception giving perception doesn't deny any fact right so perception is an reflection or an understanding about a given individual and is during of research during his research period he must have felt something during a period of time spent about the topic the reflection must be true to some extent but there is something always beyond our knowledge that is to be accepted i am i would really like to say this we are just a tiny part of this mighty cosmos and what's there i mean what's the point of showing ego when you are in a state towards learning when you have to learn you should learn when you have to study you should study when you have to play you should play why should we create a shadow of ego when we are not even equal to a grain of sand in this mighty universe there is always something beyond us that is true that is true if you think that dreams are just something that is what do you say and hallucinatic scriptures hallucinatic forms of pictures that's happening inside your mind you're incorrect you're wrong and how am i saying it's wrong because you're not following any path if you you're not following any reflection you're not understanding what is it actually you're giving a declaration of statement which is not right every understanding is formed from a breakdown of synthesis when we club all the analysis we again gain to that synthesis which is most required when you break things into subtler levels you should rejoin them then you only you get an answer then only you get a solution for any question so how are these dreams caused before dealing this question i would like to mention that there is something like dimensions if you have watched doctor strange or inception or if you must have been a hollywood fan you must have watched many movies i would dreams and we'll deal something beyond that in doctor strange 
there is a moment where the ancient one pushes Doctor Strange and there is a shadow part or the astral part that moves away from his body and that he gets excited to such a level that he wants to learn that art of learning from the ancient one and she pushes back. I mean, I think you got the point or the sequence in that movie. Why am I saying this? Dimensions are real. Dimensions are true, which is a fact. I think all the movie lovers should agree on this. If you agree on this, please hit the like button. So there are different levels. There are different dimensions or different planes I would rather call. And these dimensions are varied towards different densities. And people who have no understanding about these dimensions, who cannot relate, who cannot factualize with this relation of dimensions or planes, would rather find it difficult to correlate with what I am saying later. So, we are in a lower physical level, which is the physical level, the most least level. And after physical level, there is a level called astral level. After astral level, there is a level called Devachanic level. And after Devachanic level, there is a level called Buddhic level or the Buddhic plane. These are all of the plane, these are all of the dimensions or the planes. And the last one, the highest one, Nirvanic plane, where you reach the highest state. And you know what? If you want to travel from one country to another country, you adopt a transportation, you adopt either seaways or airways or roadways or whatever be it. You adopt a medium of transportation to go from one country to another country. This is a similar way. When you reach a certain position of enlightenment or reach a certain position of wisdom, you are eligible, you are qualified to transfer yourself from one plane to another. This is not scientifically proved, this is not scientifically debatable because this is related to a perception, this is related to a mindset. This is not any a different part of system which I am saying, this is actually true to the Indian scriptures, to the western scriptures or whatever be it. So, when we dream, we almost tend to see an unseen world, we tend to see a different world which, where we act as a character. We find people who are dead, we find people who are alive, we find people who are new, we find people who are not even existing in our timelines, in the reality which we call. How are this all happening? Maybe you are exceeding your physical level to a different level which is the astral level. And then you are experiencing this whole level of dream. And when you snap back immediately from the astral level to the lower physical level, you wake up from the sleep and you feel like, oh my God, it's a dream. This is like a cycle that is repetitive. So when you raise, when we all together raise a consciousness beyond the astral level, beyond the buddhic level, beyond the devachanic level, beyond the highest level, we are actually supposed to be so. We, I, I must really say that. We all are supposed to be so. But we are, we are always worried about the happenings of the future, worrying about the past, worrying about everything we have in the life. And one such thing is that when you have problems, you get new challenges. When you get new challenges, you get new solutions. Finding solutions is the key of life, that is simple. And you don't need to act smart, you just need to go with the flow. Going with the flow doesn't deny any problem. Going with the flow is respecting the nature itself. If you create problems, you're creating or disturbing the flow. You are in a harmony. The dream is also in harmony. Dreams are actually a harmony, a synchronized harmony. You get good dreams when you are synchronized with your body. Because your body is your vehicle. Similarly, when you are in a dream, you take your astral body or your etheric body. Here in this waking world, we use a physical body to contact. There in the dream, we use the etheric body or the astral body. So there is something like synchronization or harmony, I would say. So people who really think that they don't get dreams, you're mistaken. You would really get dreams. The thing is that you're not focused 
or you are not shifting your focus or you are not bothered. This is the third case which is right about your dreams. So, so the next coming videos of dreams would be going to be even more important, even more extraordinary. I mean they would take this concept to a much more higher level and I am again telling you this is just a perception of what I reflected about the concept of dreams. I took the research point of books, I took the help of my father, I mean I understand this topic in this way so I am telling you because I, this is a sharing of medium, this is a sharing of thought, it doesn't need to reflect, it doesn't need to affect your mind or your state of thinking, it should only add a weightage of newer understanding, rather it shouldn't create any diversification of manipulative thoughts. And, and yeah, if you are not getting dreams, you will surely get today. And I'll just give a small homework until the next Sunday where I come with a new video. The homework is for the whole week, for this complete whole week, as soon as you get up every time, whether it's 9 o'clock, it's locked on, right? So you are rather getting at 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. As soon as you get up, write down what you have dreamt of and just write for the whole week and compare how are your dreams actually are. I mean it's, it's gonna be like a fun topic and the second part would be like it's an exploration about our dreams. It's I'll share about some of the dream experiences, I'll share about some of the great incidents that happened towards understanding these dreams and how what are my current activities about dealing with dreams and all. So always learning is a habit and learning should be the habit of any individual because we are just the manifestation of the universe and universe expects us to do this and we should be humble for that. So thank you for watching the whole video. Thank you for staying with me. If you like this video, please do like it, share it, subscribe to my channel and please do encourage me and support me. Thank you so much. Love you. See you. Bye.